Hi folks, this is chapter 4 part 3. This is an important part that I need to talk to you about, about the logical operators and logical expressions for this thing. And we are talking about, if you recall, all this or uh, not, okay, operators such as not and an or. There's a meaning behind this, so we call this as a logical operator and logical expression compared to what you looked at a few minutes ago which is what's called relational operators with this thing. Here's what I need to point out in this table is that for the logical for the an which is the ampersand ampersand when you note something if the if you're comparing two expression the first expression is true the second expression is true you get a true outcome that's how you read this table if your first expression is true and your second expression is false, you get a false outcome with it. If your first expression is false and your second expression is true, so you get a false outcome. Of course, the last one's false, false, you get a false outcome. The key thing here I want to point out here is what? What, what, what am I pointing out? There's what's called a short circuit that you notice here, right? If you look at this thing, is this, this is very important how you design your code. So if you look at your first expression, if it's false, and the outcome is going to be false, is there a need to actually look at expression number two? So that's what we call a short circuit, correct? So this is a short circuit, false, true, and false is, is a short circuit. This last one, if you look at the first expression, is false. The outcome is also false as well. Okay, so you have two short circuits in this thing. Two short circuits, and if that bird stopped chirping, you could hear me. But the two short short circuit that you have are the ones that's the first expression. If it's a false, the whole outcome is going to be false. Okay, so keep that in mind when you start to design your 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 your, your logical operators. I'm going to take you to the next one, which is the OR operator. Your first expression is true, your second expression is true, so you get a true. First expression is true, second expression is false, and you get is a true. Your first expression is false, second expression is true, so you get a true. And of course you look at the false in this, the outcome is all false, false, you get false with this. So. Technically, with this 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 evaluation right here, there isn't any whole lot of short circuit in this thing. You can see that, right? So you can see the true. This you can say if this is true, this is true, and you get a true outcome. So both of the top one, you can think of it as a short circuit. It's one of the expressions going to evaluate to the true with it. So when we talk about logical operators and those things I should have addressed you should have known something what's called associative rules and order of precedence still overrides your multiplication your divisions please excuse my dear aunt Sally remember that so your parentheses still still over overrides all that right now with it if there's no parentheses you do it from left to right so um, these are your order of precedence with it, of course, with it. So um, all these unary operators, they're first and all the way down to assignment operators, the last one. Okay. So th this is order of, of precedence for mathematics, arithmetic, same thing as computer science that we use at the same time. Um, order of precedence, suppose you have this and you have a data type that is Boolean. You found, you sign the data type is found to be true. And you can see how you can actually set these as order of, of the following declarations with it. Go through here. I want you to take a look at this one right here. Okay. So let's say hours. Uh, I'm sorry. The not found and age is greater than or equal to 18. Well, in order for this statement to be true, what does it have to be? What does it have to have true? Go back here. Look at. Let's look at our and. The outcome of true, both of them have to be true. Okay, so if you look at the statement right here, this side has to be true, your first expression has to be true, and your second expression has to be true. So if found is false, do I really need to actually have to go and look at age is greater than 18? Okay, or 20 is, is, is with this right here. So therefore, if you look at this thing, the first expression is false. This is true if you input this in with it. 
and the outcome is going to be false with it. Okay, that's how you read that. The first expression in this one is going to be what? Now, this is this has a parenthesis, so you got to do the parentheses first inside the parentheses first. So in this case, what you got to do the parentheses of age is greater than 18. Okay, you do evaluate that first, and then you evaluate the and. And then outside of that, you have the parentheses to evaluate this parentheses right here. So, so this not right here is, is the last thing that you would actually do. Okay. So come down here and take a look at some of these things that we the the expression order precedence of this. This is very important right here. With it, let me stop right here. Pause.